The Ghana Bar Association has chided lawyers who are politicians for what it describes as bastardization of the judiciary. The judiciary has, in the past few years, been criticized by many for what they deem to be biased judgments. There's more in the following report. The Ghana Bar Association, who believes there's no truth in these claims, at a press conference raised concerns as to how members of the profession seem to be leading this charge. President of the Ghana Bar Association, Yawi Champo Mbwafo, cautioned their members against such acts. Our partisan colleagues give active encouragement and support for political hawks to insult and denigrate the leadership of the bar and judiciary. When such partisan hawks are encouraged by overtly partisan members of the GBA to insult the leadership of the GBA, it's not the leadership in office at a particular time that suffers. The image of the GBA gets smeared and its reputation lowered. The Ghana Bar Association has further urged stakeholders to work towards making protests and demonstrations to be violent free. To achieve this, the GBA president, Yawe Champon Boafo, has underscored a need for a national dialogue to determine routes deemed security zones and has urged organizers of protests to stop using inappropriate themes like Occupy Jolobi protest. There is the need for a national dialogue for us to, for there to be an agreement as to which installations qualify to be designated as security zones, in respect of which there should be no demonstration on such premises. The theme for such demonstrations should not be couched in insulting and derogatory terms. Jolobi, a gun word, translates as the child of a thief. And we think that such things are really, really not appropriate. The Ghana Bar Association is saying that they are bringing back the practice where the press will be addressed after every annual conference of the Bar Association reason for Wednesday's press conference. Reporting for City News, Hansen Ajeman.